Working from home is one thing, but can you really work from anywhere? Whether you're wondering how to become a digital nomad or you just wanna be able to travel more than you do now while still running your business, I'm sharing five essential tips to help you. Over the last four years, I've spent a full 12 months of those years traveling to the US, Canada, Mexico, New Zealand, Australia, and Japan in many different situations and still been able to run my business. And working remotely can be incredible or it can be a total nightmare if you don't know what you're doing. So this video is designed to help you learn from my mistakes. Plus watch until the end because I wanna share a very important lesson that I've learned that I wish somebody had mentioned to me before I started traveling and working. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with a boy wizard. If you wanna be able to work from anywhere, tip number one is when it comes to booking your accommodations, make sure that you ask them about the internet speed. Don't trust anything that's on any website. Free Wi-Fi is often quite terrible. In fact, when we've stayed at Airbnbs, I've actually sent people to the website speedtest.net and said, hey, run this on your internet. Fast internet doesn't mean the same thing to everyone around the world. If you get in a jam and you are traveling, I found that both Starbucks and McDonald's have pretty good internet. And I've actually ran a webinar live from a McDonald's once. It was a two-story McDonald's, so I was in the upstairs quiet part. But I did that from a McDonald's in Florida because the hotel internet was just so bad. And if you know people there, don't be afraid to ask a friend if you can use their office. When we were traveling through Texas a few years back, I didn't have anywhere to do my live show. And my friend Donna stepped up with her very pink office and I did our live show from her house. If you wanna be able to work remotely, here's tip number two, and it's all about arranging your calendar. Anything that is live, whether it's a coaching call or a live stream, or that you need really good internet for, make sure to book those together, group them on the same day, if at all possible. I host a weekly live show called the Social Media Marketing Talk Show for Social Media Examiner, and when we went to Japan in 2023, I was also doing my own live stream for my business, so I booked them back to back so that I didn't have to worry about it on another day. If you wanna be able to work remotely, here's tip number three. If you are doing money-making activities for your business, don't be afraid to spend a little extra money to do a good job. Earlier this year, I was in Kelowna, British Columbia in Canada, and I had a call with a client in Australia. And I didn't wanna be sitting in a hotel room with mediocre internet and a bed in the background, which always kinda of looks Odd, right? So I booked an office at a local co working space. Fully worth it. You get quality internet and you're not getting disturbed by whatever else might be going on in the hotel room next to you. If you wanna be able to work from anywhere, tip number four is all about lighting. So yes, you can get some small LED lights like this, and I'll link to these in the description of this video, but don't be afraid to move a hotel desk in front of a window so the window is facing you. And another tip that has been very helpful for me is you may not need any special portable lights. I will often travel with my own light bulb, which might sound crazy, but what you wanna do is you wanna get lights that are labeled daylight, like that, that's the color temperature of the light and it matches what comes through the window. So in a lot of situations, I will have light coming through the window on one side and then I'll take a lamp in the Airbnb or the hotel, put it in the other side and then put in one of these daylight bulbs and it looks really, really good. Without that, if you have a different temperature color bulb, from your lamp and then natural daylight outside, that makes some odd colors on most skin types. So just be aware of that. Now, if you don't wanna put a light bulb in your suitcase, I get it, I keep mine in a sock that doesn't have a match anymore for padding, but you can usually find these in any country in the world where you can buy light bulbs. They're very, very common, so you don't need something special. And on that note, if you are already at a destination and you need something, don't forget to just look around and see what you can find in wherever you are staying. This is the microphone that I travel with and it's not very tall. So I've put it on top of all kinds of things, including when we were in Australia doing a farm stay oh my with my kids, I ended up putting the microphone on top of a pot that you'd put noodles in to cook them and that works. So you can always find things wherever you are usually to fill the gaps in case you forgot anything. Now, in just a second, I wanna tell you that lesson that I learned that I wish somebody had told me before I started trying to travel and run my business at the same time. But if you wanna be able to work from anywhere, tip number five, 
duplicate your gear. You never know when something might fail on you. Now, I don't mean you need to travel with two full-size microphones like this. That can take up a lot of space, especially if you're flying somewhere and trying not to check a bag. But as a backup, I just travel with this Apple headset that came with my iPhone. It's got a little microphone built in. It's not nearly as good, but at least I have something in a jam that's better than the built-in microphone on my computer, on my MacBook. And if my camera doesn't work, I've always got my phone as a backup. You can even get these little attachments so that you can stick your phone on top of your computer and use it as a webcam. If you've dreamed from being able to work from anywhere so you can travel more, here's what I wish somebody told me about this before I started doing this late in 2020. And that is make sure to travel sometimes without working just because we can work from anywhere. And I love that technology has gotten to this point where I can live stream, record podcasts, YouTube videos, do coaching calls, anything like that. Sometimes we should just travel and enjoy and not be online. So now that you've got these tips, where are you gonna go? Where would you like to travel to and still be able to run your business? I would love to know in the comments. And if you're looking for any gear recommendations, I've linked up to a couple of videos on the screen right here. You can check those out as well. Thank you so much for watching. You're not only supporting me, but my two tiny superheroes at home.